Have you ever wondered where we, as humans, came from? How did this vast, complex universe teeming with life originate? From the tiniest microorganisms to the colossal galaxies, everything around us is a testament to a grand design or a billion years of evolution. The curiosity to understand our origins has led to the development of theories, some grounded in science, others in belief. We find ourselves at the intersection of these two compelling narratives, the evolution theory and the God theory. The evolution theory, a tale of time, mutation and survival, paints a picture of gradual change leading to the complex life forms we see today. On the other hand, the God theory speaks of a divine architect, an omnipotent entity who set the wheels of existence into motion. Today, we delve into two prominent theories that attempt to answer these mind-boggling questions, evolution and God theory. First, we explore the realms of science with the evolution theory. Our journey through the annals of scientific discovery begins with Charles Darwin, a naturalist whose curiosity led him on a five-year voyage aboard the HMS Beagle. This journey took Darwin to the far reaches of the Earth, from the rugged landscapes of the Galapagos Islands to the lush rainforests of South America. In these diverse environments, Darwin observed a remarkable array of life forms, each uniquely adapted to its own specific habitat. This observation culminated in Darwin's groundbreaking theory of evolution, a theory which fundamentally changed our understanding of life on Earth. At its core, the theory of evolution is about change. It posits that species evolve, or change over time, through a process known as natural selection. So what is natural selection? Picture a group of animals, let's say, rabbits. In this group, some rabbits might have traits that make them more likely to survive and reproduce, such as being faster or better at hiding from predators. These traits are then passed down to the next generation. Over many generations, these beneficial traits become more common, leading to a gradual change in the species. This, in essence, is natural selection, often referred to as the survival of the fittest. But what about evidence? After all, a theory is only as good as the evidence that supports it. For evolution, this evidence comes in many forms. There are fossil records, showing a clear progression of life forms over millions of years. There are genetic studies, revealing striking similarities between different species, suggesting a common ancestor. And there are countless examples of adaptation where species have evolved to better survive in their environment. So, as per the evolution theory, we are the product of millions of years of natural selection and adaptation. But is that all there is to our existence? This question will be our compass as we navigate through the next chapter of our journey, where we explore the divine and the mystical. Now, let's take a leap of faith into the realm of the divine, with the God theory. The God theory, a belief held by millions, perhaps billions around the world, posits that a higher power or entity, often called God, is responsible for the creation of the universe and everything in it. This theory transcends the borders of science entering the territory of faith, spirituality and the metaphysical. At its core, the God theory is the belief in an omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient entity. This entity, whatever form it may take, is believed to have set into motion the events leading to the creation of the universe, laying down the fundamental laws that govern it, and instilling life in the inanimate. The concept of intelligent design is an offshoot of the God theory. It proposes that certain features of the universe and living things are best explained by an intelligent cause, not an undirected process such as natural selection. It argues that the complexity and diversity we observe in the natural world are the products of a divine architect, an entity possessing an intellect far beyond human comprehension. For adherents of the God theory, the universe is not a random happenstance of cosmic events. It is a meticulously designed masterpiece, a testament to the power and wisdom of its creator. The beauty of a sunset, the intricacy of a spider's web, the symmetry of a snowflake, each is seen as a divine signature, a sign of a higher power at work. The God theory is a cornerstone of many religions worldwide, from the monotheistic faiths like Christianity, Islam and Judaism, to the polytheistic traditions such as Hinduism and the ancient Greek pantheon, each offers a unique interpretation of the divine entity or entities responsible for creation. According to the God theory, our existence is the result of a divine plan, a cosmic blueprint drafted by a higher entity. But can we reconcile these two drastically different views? And that, my friends, is the question that has sparked countless debates and will continue to do so as long as humans seek the truth about their existence. Evolution Theory and God Theory 
two distinct perspectives attempting to unravel the mystery of our existence. From Darwin's finches to the complex structure of the human eye, the evolution theory presents a convincing argument for a natural, self-regulating process of change and adaptation. It paints a picture of life as a theater of constant change, where species are actors changing roles over eons, driven by the unyielding forces of survival and propagation. On the other hand, the God theory argues for a divine creator, an architect of life and universe. It posits that our world with its intricate design and complex phenomena is a testament to a higher power. This perspective offers comfort and purpose, a sense of being part of a grand plan, rather than a mere product of random events. Some individuals find solace in one theory over the other, drawing from them a sense of purpose, a framework for morality, or simply an explanation for the world's complexities. Yet there are those who find a way to intertwine both theories, viewing evolution as a tool wielded by a divine hand, a process guided by a celestial watchmaker. This interplay between the theories has sparked a rich, ongoing debate. It's a testament to our insatiable curiosity and our relentless pursuit of understanding. Despite our remarkable advances in technology and knowledge, there remains a vast expanse of the unknown. The origin of life, the nature of consciousness, the breadth and depth of the universe, these are questions that continue to elude us, fueling our quest for answers. Though we may not have concrete answers, the pursuit of understanding our origins continues to captivate us. After all, the journey of discovery is as fascinating as the discovery itself.